Let me very quickly once again tell you because, uh, you know, a lot of discussion was on the voter turnout and specifically talking about Mumbai. Mumbai so far, 49% uh, voting has been recorded till 5 p.m., which is 1% better than if you compare it to 2019 election. On the other hand, in Jharkhand, overall, uh, if you look at, uh, uh, you know, Jharkhand, 47.6% voter turnout has been recorded in Jharkhand. Uh, so, Jharkhand, in fact, uh, coming out and voting in high numbers there. This has been the uh, more or less the average as far as Jharkhand is concerned. And with this, it's curtains, ladies and gentlemen, on the last electoral prestigious electoral battle of the state state in Maharashtra. Let me very quickly go across to my colleagues, Abira and Radhika, those who are joining us uh, from uh, Mumbai at this moment. Uh, Radhika, coming to you first. It's, uh, you know, the polling booths are being sealed. It's curtains on a very, very sharply and also a bitter political battle and a very, very, you know, crowded political space of Maharashtra. It all comes to an end now. Absolutely. It is a crowded political space. You're right. Earlier, it were four parties when you look at 2019 and political landscape completely changing, completely transforming and a lot of churn since 2019. So we have six political parties, six important political parties in fray, including two NCPs as well as two Senas. Now, if you look at the numbers, yes, pathetic numbers as far as Mumbai is concerned, perhaps a little better than the last time, yet it hasn't crossed 50%. Uh, you know, uh, as far as the uh, electoral trends are concerned. Um, despite the fact that the elections were conducted on a weekday, on a Wednesday, but despite that, absolutely no change in numbers, no considerable change in numbers. Uh, it hasn't crossed 50%. Um, you know, politicians, celebrities came out and large numbers appealing to voters to come out. Between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m., we saw... Uh, most of the polling booths empty, perhaps, if, if, uh, you know, shorter lines, shorter queues. When you look at uh, places such as Kolaba, Worli, Kolaba is the lowest, 41% is the turnout we are uh, talking about as far as the uh, constituency of Kolaba is concerned, followed by places like uh, Worli and even places like uh, Dharavi, which have reported a low voters turnout. So quite disappointing uh, when you look at uh, the, uh, you know, uh, the fact that it happened on a Wednesday and the fact that there were a lot of appeals being made were made just ahead of elections and also the fact that there were a lot of uh, offers and uh, discounts doled out by restaurants, eateries, uh, you know, film uh, uh, theatres uh, for uh, its patrons. But despite all of that, what we saw was, uh, you know, quite uh, disappointing numbers as far as the turnout is concerned. Uh, and overall, Maharashtra turnout stands at 58%. Uh, so, yes, uh, what we are seeing is a, an I don't care attitude, an indifferent attitude as far as elections are concerned. We did speak to a lot of urban voters here. Uh, they did speak about a lot of issues, be it traffic, be it local issues, uh, you know, uh, that we don't want a corrupt government. Uh, we don't want uh, any sort of... Uh, uh, political conflict within uh, parties and these splits and divisions are confusing for the voters. These are some of the reactions that came in from a lot of urban voters, but the fact remains that a lot of the urban voters crib about, uh, you know, uh, facts like uh, th there are issues when it comes to uh, traffic, right. the uh, road uh, and uh, you know, development and so on. But despite that, none of them really came out in large numbers okay. uh, to vote. But yes, we'll have to see how things will play out when the results are announced on uh, October 23rd. Yes. Will it be Mahayuti yet again or will MBA be able to sort of come back and uh, retain its position yet Absolutely. again? Absolutely. And whatever happens on uh, 23rd November, it is going to be... Um, Trust and make no mistake about it. It's just not Maharashtra. It is going to have far-reaching consequences in the politics of the country as well.